So today, let's talk about nuclear fusion. Currently, most of our energy comes from coal, natural gas, and solar. Now, coal and natural gas are non-renewable sources of energy, and solar is renewable, but it's extremely expensive and can't be efficiently laid out to take on climate change. And non-renewable sources of energy are not a good option to take on climate change because that will only make things worse. So we need a new option, like maybe fusion energy. Now, imagine the sun. It's a big red ball of gas that gives off a lot of energy. But inside the sun, hydrogen nuclei are flowing around and gravity is pulling it together. And with the extreme heat produced inside the sun, they, the nuclei start, start to fuse. Now, the same process can be replicated on Earth in our fusion reactor. This is also called a tyroid. Now, the same structure is a bit like a donut. It has a center magnet, and a donut has a center chocolate filling. A donut also has a covering that's chocolate and it contains nuts. Now, our fusion reactor contains outer magnets that holds everything in and stops the hot plasma from touching the inside of the reactor and melting the whole reactor. Now, inside a reactor, we have hot hydrogen plasma that is being produced. Now, with our magnets, like I said, we stop the plasma from touching the walls. Our fuel for our reactor is a hydrogen fuel. We put in deuterium, which is a stable isotope of hydrogen, also known as heavy water, and it contains one proton and one neutron. And then we put in tritium, which is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Now, it contains one proton and two neutrons. And now, just like the sun in our reactor, we're producing a lot of heat and we're producing magnetic confinement which is similar to gravity that takes place in the sun. Now remember the sun, we're having everything pulling together at high temperatures and then they're fusing. And this is occurring in our reactor. Everything is fusing together and then joining together. So we get two protons and three neutrons, which is the same as helium and one neutron. Now with this hot plasma being produced, we need something to cool it down. So it's better than water. With the water cooling it down, this produces steam, and we need electricity. So, we put a turbine at the top of the reactor that starts spinning from the steam, and we get electricity. In the end, fusion can be a great option to take on climate change, and we can save our planet.